Back to today's races. Alan Partridge is at the... Um... Oh, it's just about to let him line it. Let him line it. I'm Alan Partridge here at Marple with me. Um, just a quick look at the betting. Onion Terror, two to one favourite. Seven to four, massive bereavement. And 100 to 30, trust me, I'm a stomach. All the rest, three to one bar. The 6.30 has a 50-minute delay due to a uh, fist fight near the paddocks between two officials, one of them now hospitalised. But uh, I'm pleased to say I have with me the winner of the last race. Come here, come here. Mickey Doolan. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. Are you now? Now, how do you feel about uh, the race there? You, you, you won that race, the last race. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm very pleased to have won the race. It was a hard yeah. race, won it by a nose at the end, you know, so... Uh, it's and, uh, quite uh, what, and your mum and dad must be pleased. Now, what do they think of you doing this? Shouldn't you be at school? Do they not think you're sort of missing out on schoolwork? Well, I think I'll be a little bit old for that now. I'm 33 years of age, what? you know. What? That's right, I'm 33 years you're of age. You're 33? That's right, now. But I thought you... I mean, you look about 14. Well, I'll take that as a compliment, you know. Are you really 33 years old? 33 old? years of age, that's right. My God! Well, wait, wait, all the others, are they, like, are they, th are they sort of 30... I mean, they're not children? Well, age varies from about, you know, 18 to 42, or maybe a bit older. But you're so that. small! Well, that's the idea, you know? I mean, if I was any bigger, if it was your size, then I wouldn't have won a race today. Right, that's why you never see people like Brian Blessed riding <laughs> horses. No, it makes sense. Right, well, thanks very much for talking to us, Mickey Doolan. Mickey Doolan here at uh, Marple. Oh, raining. Uh, and Partridge, Alan, you're a bit of a word man, aren't you? Um, I certainly am, like words. Uh, where would we be without them? Help you when you're having a chat. Yeah, do, they, do you feel them as they come out? Yeah, certainly do. What do they feel like, then? Yeah, I don't know, something like that. Do long words feel different from short ones? Yeah, yeah. What about significant words? What do they feel like? Alan. What? What do significant words feel like as they come out? Well, I don't... Do they feel different? Yes, yes. I'm Alan Partridge. Buttress is a significant yes. word, isn't it? Yeah. This is Sports Desk. Football. The Liverpool versus Tanners match ended last night with defeat for the Tanners. I visited their dressing room. The atmosphere here hangs heavy like a big smell. The smell of men together, the smell of cat's musk. Bob Marino, you missed the penalty. Why? Yeah, Alan, um, it was a bad one. It took the top of my boot. It was all over in an instant. Um, just you to... look really stupid. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't a good performance. I'm going to try and take a shower now. Right. Run on to the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Uh, are you going to wash away the stain of defeat? Um, yeah. Get, get clean now and look on to the next start again in the rest of the season. Yeah, but when, when you go home with your, uh, when you go home with your, you get to bed with your wife tonight, you watch the other VHS, you get going to sleep with her, she sees a stain on your body and she says, Bob, remove the stain. Will you remove it? I'm not married, You've got a girlfriend, though. Yeah, yeah. On to show jumping. And I managed to catch up with the Australian dazzler, Katrina Parfit, after this morning's big horse event. Katrina, um, quick word. Let me say, you look fantastic on a horse. Thank you very much. Um, you're like the Lone Ranger on Tonto. Oh. How do you feel? Well, I feel disappointed. I didn't quite make it this time, but, you know, that's the way it goes. That, it, I was personally gutted because I love the, those little touches you add, the way yeah. you turn, smile at the judge. Well. A little wave, a little wink. It doesn't Marvelous. go on looks and smiles. It goes on a lot of skill and discipline now. I'm sure it does, but let me tell you, if I'd have been a judge, I would have been a complete mess. Oh, right. What about the horse? How, how's that handling? Uh, well, Sir Danzig wasn't doing too well. He shied away from the water jump, and that's when I really began to lose it. Yeah, well, let me tell um, you, if you have any more problems with him, you can ride me around the paddock. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyway, I think that next year we'll, I'll have better luck. When, when, you, when you, how do you ride a horse? How do I ride? How do you ride a horse? Well, I've been riding since the age of about five. I don't think it's anything you can learn. I think it's something that's in the blood. To Danzig. He's my horse, yeah. yeah. And I shall be back next year and I shall win on him. You sell him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Katrina Parfit, a lady. Now the sport with Alan Partridge.
Thanks, Chris. And it's a special desk of sport this week as we look forward to all the sporting action that will take place in this year's 1994 World Cup finals in America in Alan Partridge's World Cup countdown to 94. Goal! Yes, 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 yes! That was a goal! Goal! Striker! Eat that! Yeah. And another! Bing Bang stick it in! Thank you and good night! Twat! That was liquid football! Uh. Shit! Did you see that? He must have a foot like a traction engine! Goal! Well, it's going to be three weeks of non-stop action, and to help us along, and add a little bit of colour and uh, fun to the proceedings, I've got with me a soccer metre. What's that, Alan? Well, I'll tell you, it's very simple. It's to explain the group system. Now, first of all, all these long arms here, these long signposts, are the, the venues where the matches will be played. Dallas, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and so on. If you look at me from above, you can see that these, these are the group... This is the group system. Um, the, the, it, it's 14 groups, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. And um, there, there are four rounds. There's round one, the red round, yellow round, blue round, red round again. Those are my, that's my colour coding, not FIFA's. You won't find that with FIFA, just with me. So that's, that's the basis of it. And as you can see, they get progressively let fewer towards the centre, the ultimate goal being the World Cup. All right, let's take an example. OK, ra round one ah, is Pasadena. Let's say it takes place in Pasadena between Chile and, and Paraguay, something like that. OK, and then we're through to round two which is, San, let's say it's San Francisco. We've not got much time here. San Francisco, and that goes through to Orlando. So let's take it round to or Orlando there. Let's move those out of the way. Where's San Francisco? Where's... Right, just going to find San Francisco. Where is it? There it is. Right. So San Francisco have played, played Orlando, and then we're through to round three, Los Angeles. It's not written. It's <laughs> it's this. It's not written on that side. It, sh it should be, but it's bloody not. <laughs> and then it's whoever went that that then we're through to the final of the World Cup. Who's that going to be? Goal! The proof is in the pudding, and the pudding in this case is a football. Booth, eat my goal! The goalie has got football pie all over his shirt. I'm Alan Partridge, and that will be my World Cup 94. You can come too. Join me. Thanks, Alan. More sport from you later. Absolutely, Chris. With a bit of luck, we'll have Sandy Lyle on the line. American now. Time now for sport with Alan Partridge. Alan, got to say that that soccer commentary was brilliant last night. Thank you. It really was. I mean, I'm not very interested in soccer, but I was totally absorbed and entertained by the whole thing. Great. Tell you what, take a bit of extra time if you want. Do as much as you like on this. I'll be enjoying this too. Tonight, we are going to look at self-defence. Brilliant. Now, self-defence is no longer the preserve of hard men like Charles Bronson and Lee Marvin. More and more these days, we all need to know how to get a bit handy. Anyone who's been on public transport late at night will know that there are a lot of disturbed individuals out there. One minute they may be babbling incoherently, the next they could be going for your person. What do you do? Well, this week is National Self-Defence Week, so who better to tell us than one of Britain's best-loved judo-fighting people, Commonwealth silver medalist Adam Neills. Adam. Hi. Now, self-defence is not simply about punching someone repeatedly in the face till they're unconscious, is it? No, no, it's exactly what, what it says. It's defending yourself, self-defence with the minimum of force. Weaponry? Uh, no, no, just just your body. That's all. all Snooker ball in a sock. No, no, we we I mean, we teach people how to deal with that. But uh... why do you call those things with two sticks with a chain between them? A nunchaka. Yeah, I like those. Um, now, can can we actually see some of the base that the? If you can, you sort of talk with right. Basic, okay, Tanya, if you basics of self defence. Right. Well, well, we teach people to deal with anything from a sort of general invasion of body space through to a specific act right, of so aggression. Right. So if I was to go like this, wait, no, what's the talk? 
Tell her that I can't breathe. So she's now wrested I, I, control I away from breathe. you. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Sorry. Please. Okay, that's good. She's wrested control away from you and uh, has overcome you. The aggression's been turned against you. What happens if someone attacks you from behind? Right, if, if you were to attack me from behind... So... Right, I, um, I throw you, I could throw you, I could use an elbow block against you, or I could shock you, immobilise you with uh, just twisting the skin, something... Get off! Chris. The American car company General Motors have today announced a cut in their workforce at their plant in Detroit.